All right, this is going to be a quickie little cooking experiment. And we're out camping with the ambulance, and we've got some Simpsons on the projector screen here. And uh, it's past dinner time, and we're looking at what we've got left in ration packs and our supplies and stuff. So let's see if we can come up with something interesting. I did discover yesterday that we can cook Pop Tarts in the boiling vessel. And we have an old version here, um, and a new version here as well. This one pulls about 10 amps, that pulls about 55 at 24 volts. Power hungry little critters, but they're well worth it. I'm going to try an experiment and see if we can make some sort of new hot chocolate drink of some kind. So let's uh, let's see what we can come up with. Right, so given the available materials on hand, we're going to try and go for a Cadbury peppermint chocolate uh, or hot chocolate kind of mix. So I think I'm going to float one of my kidney cups on the hot water in there with the lid up and use a double boiler method to melt down some of this. And then we might use some condensed milk in here. There's always a message that comes in when I'm videoing stuff. We're going to do enough of this to make two, I think. Um, we'll use some of the condensed milk, the military stuff, which is sweetened condensed milk. And to help further thicken it, we might um, add ourselves some hot chocolate mix as well. So let's see how we go here. Right, we've got our chocolate in here. We've got some... Um, Sweetened condensed milk, the military stuff. I think I'm going to use a bunch of that. Now, I was going to use one of the ration pack hot chocolates. They're a New Zealand made one. Really, really nice. But I had that this morning. Um, we do have in the backup stash, we have some Cadbury instant hot chocolate. It's got milk powder in here as well. We're looking for a really thick hot chocolate, not the watery type. So this could be good. And this is starting to boil too. So we're up to a temperature just nicely. I'll lift the lid off that in a minute. All right, let's uh, get some of these things in. I'm filming one-handed without a tripod today, so it'll be interesting. All right, we've added probably the best part of a half or around about two-thirds a tube of it. We're gonna add a whole dose of the chocolate powder in here. This is definitely gonna be a chocoholics drink. Um, all right, so let's unlatch the top of this thingy. We'll take our lid off. And we're boiling nicely away in here. So we're gonna hook our kidney cup over the side here and float that in there. Hopefully it floats just nicely without filling up with water. I think that's gonna do just nicely. All right, I probably should put a bit more water in there, but it's boiling at the moment and that's what we want. So we're gonna let that sit. I'm just gonna rest the lid over here just a little bit. We will be adding a little bit of water in there to thin it out. But we want it to get the temperature first, and we'll find ourselves a spoon and give that a mix. Alright, I've turned the rear loading lights on in the ambulance here to get slightly better view. This is now flashing, or it's flashed lights, it means it's come up to temperature and up to boil. And it's going to cool down until it gets to about 86 degrees, and it's going to try and maintain that. But that is plenty enough to melt some chocolate. I'm going to give this a bit of a stir around in here. Starting to get nice and soft, but it needs to be just a bit more before we start adding just a little bit of hot water to it. And then we'll uh, start to have our hot chocolate. That'll be good. All right, a spoon is stuck in there, so it can stay in there now. So give it a couple more minutes till that chocolate's nice and soft. And then we'll add some hot water and we'll have peppermint hot chocolate, hopefully. Right, I've been able to improvise a tripod here so I can use both hands. So we're going to um, pull this out. Hopefully the handle's not too hot. It's alright. Oh, that is hot. Got a nice bit of chocolate going here. It's very thick, which is what we want. Now we need to start adding some water in here. Let's see how we go. I'm just going to gradually reduce this down until we get a nice thick drink in chocolate. I can smell the peppermint coming off it already. And it's starting to look really nice. We'll be back in a minute after I've mixed this down a few more times. Alright, so I got a little bit um, sidetracked, but that is a really thick, rich hot chocolate. I poured half out to give to uh, the uh, senior financial manager, and uh, she approved. So I'm going to finish the rest of this off, but yeah, that's not a bad hot chocolate.